Hello students. In today's class, I'll be doing an important name reactions of acid chlorides. The name of the reaction is Rosenmann's reduction. Rosenmann is the name of the person who had done this reaction. Whereas your reduction word means gain of hydrogen. So, Rosenmann's reduction is a process of reduction where you would have gain of hydrogen of an acid chloride. Now, what is an acid chloride? Definitely, it must be derived from an acid. What is an acid? A carboxylic acid. A carboxylic acid transforms into an acid chloride is where the OH is transformed into a Cl. You very well know there are reagents which can do this. For example, the best reagent is thionyl chloride. You can also use a PCl3. You can also use a PCl5. And you can also use the Lucas reagent which is anhydrous ZnCl2 plus concentrated HCl. That was just an added information for you to understand what do you mean by an acid chloride, the requirement in our reaction. Now, moving on to the reaction further, once you have an acid chloride with you, the aim is reduction. For this reduction, we use hydrogen, which is understandable. Hydrogen, the bond is very strong. These are two small atoms of hydrogen and they are bonded tightly. This particular bond has got a very high bond dissociation energy. So at room temperature this reaction would not take place. So you at times require, always in fact, you require a catalyst for the reaction to proceed. Hence the catalyst uses palladium. You can use nickel and platinum too for reduction but since it is a named reaction and the person who, done, who had done this reaction had used palladium so you have no choice but to write palladium here. Now moving ahead from here this reaction leads to the formation of R, C double bond O and an H. Now Cl is transformed into an H. Now since it is a reduction process, you can very well understand that this could further go to R, CH2, OH where this double bond could break and the two hydrogens could have been given here. But this part we do not want. The aim is not to get this reaction done. For this purpose, you need to add something here. And that something here is a poison to be catalyst. That is barium sulfate or in fact any sulfur compound. The function of this barium sulfate or the sulfur compound is this. So that the reduction stops at the aldehyde state. This is the poison added to the catalyst. So that it only reduces the activity of the catalyst. Hence, you reduction stops at aldehyde stage. So you should know the function of barium sulfate in the Rosenmann's reduction. I'll redo it up, which means you require any acid chloride that is the reactant. Or I can write it as R. CO, Cl. So your acid chloride undergoes a reduction where you are adding hydrogen gas in the presence of palladium. Also, don't forget, you need to add barium sulfate or quinoline can also be written. In some books, you will find quinoline written, which is a sulfur-containing organic compound. This barium sulfate is important without which the product would not be aldehyde. This is your aldehyde where the Cl is replaced by H. Hence, it happens as a reduction. Your reaction stops here. In case you forget, you only write hydrogen and palladium. Then the reaction will not be to aldehyde stage. Your product will be R, CH2, OH, which is not Rosenmann's reduction. Your Rosenmann's reduction is this, where you require barium sulfate. And there is a reasoning for it, which is also asked at times. What is Rosenmann's reduction and what is the function of barium sulfate during this reduction? I'll take one more example for this category to give, make it a little more clearer. The example, second example I'm taking is that of 
benzoyl chloride. This is your benzene ring. You have a benzoyl chloride. If the aim is to get it into benzaldehyde, which is this, for which you will require a catalyst and hydrogenation. So you only write these two plus barium sulfate is important. So that the reaction does not go beyond the aldehyde state to the benzyl alcohol. I hope I have made it clear. So you have the Rosenmann's reduction. This Rosenmann reduction is a process where hydrogens are to be gained and you require a reducing agent. The reducing agent used is hydrogen catalytic hydrogenation because hydrogenation with direct H2 can never happen without a catalyst since the bond dissociation energy is extremely high and that higher temperature is required which may decompose your organic compound. So by writing high temperature, high pressure, this reaction will never happen and since it's a named reaction, you require the exact conditions which is hydrogen in the presence of palladium and barium sulfate is essential so that the reaction stops at the aldehyde state the function is that it poisons your catalyst. It is acting as a retardant. That is, it controls the reaction, does not accelerate the reduction to the alcoholic stage. With this, I conclude the reduction process by given by Rosenmans. Thank you. Have a good day.